Hey, what's going on? Gary here. I wanted to put together just a quick quick video on my thoughts. Um, I know there's been some talk around the internet about the Unify controller and Unify removing the uh, multi-site uh, option. Um, they released a new version 6.0.45 the other day um, and it basically put the option back in there. Um, doesn't say that it was a bug fix, but you can see here under improvements, it says that it added a multi-site management toggle, um, but it's not available on the UDM base and UDM pro, um, which I understand. And, you know, was this a mistake? I, I don't know. I, I kind of think it was, um, you know, the only reason I'm saying that is, um, I'm doing some testing right now on, a UXG Pro, and I have a controller up and running right now, running the 6.1.26. And, you know, the option for multi-site is on that version of the controller that's in uh, beta right now. So, um, I don't know. I think it could have been a mistake that it was accidentally removed or, you know, maybe their thoughts are getting it removed and too many people complained online and they uh, jumped to a fix real quick. Um, you know, I, if you have too many devices, it's not good to, you know, to have too many sites on a controller. So I do understand that. Um, but I, I do use the feature. I have a cloud key gen two plus at, uh, one of my locations that I have a couple different small, um, sites back on that controller. You know, it's the same company, but they have a couple different locations um, and they, they don't have a, you know, just a couple APs, a couple switches at each site. Um, but yeah, that's my take on it. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and, and uh, comment below. Hit the subscribe button for future videos and go ahead and tap that notification bell so you can get notified when I post a new video.